Joining us from the German Institute for Economic Research is energy expert Claudia Kempfert. Energy prices are a concern for both households and for companies. Should people be worried? Well, they should not be worried, but it's an unfair distribution at the moment of the uh, additional cost which each household has to pay because a lot of uh, industrial companies are exempted. They don't pay this fee and tariff and they benefit also from a further effect, which is the wholesale price, the stock exchange price, which is decreasing. So at the end, uh, the um, this fee and tariff is calculated in a way that with lowering the wholesale price, the higher the fee and tariff, so private households have a double um effect here to say, just to, to pay. Another effect, um, this pulling out of companies from, from the equation, from the way things are usually done energy-wise, mm -hmm. is that having a negative effect as well? Yeah, it has a negative effect because uh, the number of people who pay this feed and tariff are becoming more and more lower. Mm -hmm. So at the end, uh, a reduced number of people have to pay this additional fee. And this is quite unfair because a lot of companies, uh, who, where it makes sense if they have very high electricity costs, if they are in an international competition, it's okay if they are exempted. But right now, a lot of companies are exempted mm -hmm. and we have to ask why. And it's no surprise, of course, that this is all causing a lot of debate considering the money that's involved. If we take a look at the numbers, last year over 20 billion euros in funding was earmarked for renewable energy. Who footed that bill? Energy intensive industries paid just a sliver. The rest of the costs came from other industries, trades and services, and a massive chunk from private households. They forked out a whopping 7.6 billion euros to fund renewable power last year. Is that fair? No, it's completely unfair. I mean, a lot of companies could pay much more, but they should also benefit from the positive effects because uh, this uh, stock exchange price, the trading price for electricity is extremely low. So the question is, though, why do not private households benefit from it? A lot of companies do benefit, and that's also very unfair. A total of 1,700 firms haven't had to pay anything towards Germany's new energy transition. That's got to have a lot of consumers up in arms, wouldn't you say? Yeah, because uh, we have to look who is, who, where it really makes sense to be exempted because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of companies uh, have very high energy costs, that's okay. But uh, for the others, uh, we have to ask why they got uh, these exemptions. And at the end, the private households have to pay more and that's not really fair. What would be a fair way then of divvying up the costs? Well, we, first of all, we need to reduce the exemptions for the industrial companies to those who, where it really makes sense. On the other hand, we have to see that the feed and tariff is increasing because the uh, trading price for electricity is so low and we need a transparent discussion and a transparent way to calculate the, uh, the end consumer prices. And here, uh, the price declining effects play also a role and consumers should benefit from it. And so what sort of role should the government be playing? Where should the government be stepping in? The government needs to control these exemptions. They need to be reduced. And they have to look for a fair end consumer price. And here the private households have an unfair increase of price and this needs to be controlled. Briefly, your opinion on offshore wind energy. There's a lot more wind to harness in, in that respect, but the costs are a heap higher, I think double. Yeah, right now they are double, but they will decline in the future. So right now uh, we have to see that we need offshore wind energy as well for the energy transition in Germany, but the cost will decline and then it makes sense also to start right now. Claudia Kempfer, thank you very much for the analysis. Thank you.